She gets knocked down and gets put up again. This is like the shape of the harness. You can decide what's going where. The stuff that I don't sell might as well go somewhere. You're so sweet. I'm with Ali. Oh we work so well as a team. Sunny side prop box. 85 people. There's your little sneak peek for this vlog. Welcome back to my channel. This week I have got a little studio vlog for you. I'm really excited to film this this week because there's quite a lot going on at Sunnyside HQ right now. I mean, at this very moment in time there's not. It's just me and Sunny. She's asleep. I'm chatting to you guys. That's all that's happening. Beginning of the year, I've planned the year for Sunnyside. Well, I've planned my a rough sketch of designs that I would like to release this year. In case you're new here though, hello, I am Hannah. My full-time job is this, creating content, YouTuber, influencer. What am I influencing you to do though? Can you call me that? But I also have a little side hustle which has quickly become pretty much also a full-time job. I am a grafting queen these days. I'll keep it brief in case you've heard about this. But I launched my business Sunnyside Co in September 2021 and I sell pet accessories. Harnesses, collars, leads, bow ties, blankets, all the cute stuff that you need for your pups. At the moment I am Kind of a one man band. My mum helps me out a lot when it comes to packing the orders, especially when it's really busy. But I do literally everything else by myself. So yeah, there's a little rundown of the business. I'm gonna show you how it runs, what I'm gonna do this week. Today is Tuesday and we're actually off to a good start this week. So on a Tuesday, I have a special offer exclusive to my Instagram followers, but I'm gonna let you in on the secret. I found this was a really good tactic when sales started to slow down last year. I think people love a sale, they love exclusiveness. and if if you've got a small business one of my top tips is to have a very short sale rather than like a January sale have a sale for one day and that day only I've just found from my personal experience it encourages people to buy now because everyone wants these harnesses but sometimes people are a bit like on the fence like, oh my dog doesn't need another one if it's only 10 pounds people will snap it up that day and that applies to whatever your business is so every Tuesday morning I post this graphic on my Instagram story I just have it saved on my camera roll in my favorite so it's easy to find followed by the design of the week which this week is burgundy love and i put a little link to the product in the instagram story to make it super easy for people and that discount code will only work for that one product until midnight tonight and i just think it's a great way for customers to try your products to get a bargain to test it out and then hopefully they'll purchase again when it's not tenor tuesday so that's the idea of it i've had a few orders in this morning already so let's get packing get them shipped out first class they'll be arriving hopefully tomorrow to the customers call me amazon prime Right, they're all packed up and ready to take to the post office on my way home but guys we're just not going to talk about the flower wall i came into the office yesterday morning for a little while and it had fallen down so i spent half an hour putting it back up came in this morning she's down again she gets knocked down and gets put up again but not today because I can't be bothered to do that right now. It's 100% my own fault because these walls are textured and I had the bright idea of using sellotape to put it up. I'm shocked it lasted as long as it did, to be honest. Anyway, my next job of the day, little Sunny is down here next to me. You're a good girl. My next job of the day is to change my website banner because I currently have New Year, New wardrobe, which I changed in January. Can we call it a New Year anymore? It's February now, mid-February at that. I normally use a mixture of Canva and photo shop to do this but i downloaded my fonts onto canva so i think i should be able to make the entire thing on canva today and if anyone's curious the dimensions i use are 4500 by 1795 pixels i sound technological welcome to hands banner tutorial so first of all i'm using my brand colors this is the shade of pink that i use for sunny side and just figuring out the layout that i want to use i used a pre-made template for the most part and then just adjusted it to how i liked it here i am adjusting the text because every dog deserves a cute wardrobe and i decided to add this feature to the website sunny side star of the month just to get people involved on instagram absolutely love to see it add the photos of the two stars of the month these are bailey and fred 
Frankie. So their names were added. This is the banner before and I'm just about to add the new one to the website. It actually took me about 45 minutes to make the banner. I'm not sure why this looked so quick. But yeah, this is me adding it to the site before, after. Looks adorable and I love that customers are involved in Stars of the Month. So I'm now back from the office and I've actually just sat over the edge of the bath and shaved my legs because tonight is IPL night. Do you know what? This is actually one of the highlights of my week and it rolls around so quick as well. So my loves, this section of the video is very kindly sponsored by Current Body. I first told you guys about Current Body back when I started my hair removal journey and I thought now I would give you an update because I've had quite a few questions about it. The Instagram DMs have been popping. You'll want to know all the goss about the IPL. So Current Body specialise in beauty devices and I've been using their Smooth Skin Pure Mini for, I would I would say about five weeks now. Perfect time to give you an update on how this little bad boy is going. So IPL is intense pulsed light, literally short bursts of light. And by using these powerful but completely painless pulses of light, it kills the hair follicle deep down at the root so they stop producing hair. Over time, fewer and fewer hairs grow back and that's it in a nutshell. So this is the Smooth Skin Pure Mini. It's a powerful little device that combines the power of the Smooth Skin Pure Fit into a compact little form super convenient and perfect if you're traveling as well actually you can use it on your legs your armpits your face and your bikini area to reduce hair growth and you basically use it once a week for 12 weeks and then you just top up once a month like I said I'm at about the five to six week mark now and I'm not gonna lie my leg hair specifically on my shins grows at the speed of light honestly faster than you can blink it's back genuinely I would shave my legs in the shower get out of the shower and if I got cold my legs felt spiky again but I'd say Personally, I started to notice a difference at around the three week mark and it has been getting better every week from there. Obviously my hair isn't fully removed yet, but I have definitely noticed between shaves, my hair is growing back slower, but not only slower, also thinner. It might be TMI, but I didn't shave my legs for a whole week last week and I was so impressed at the regrowth. I actually even asked my mum to feel my leg. I was so proud of it because considering I was on like day seven at this point, my legs felt as if they were on maybe like day three or four. And with the Smooth Skin Pure Mini, up to 97% of hair can be removed after 12 weeks of treatment seven weeks to go and i cannot wait to see those results and it is so quick and easy to do it as well i've been targeting specifically my legs usually every wednesday evening without fail i work like clockwork when it comes to this but you can treat your whole body in just 10 minutes when i mentioned it last time i also had a few questions about using it on pale skin so i'm going to leave a little diagram on screen of the skin tones and the hair colors that this works with best now that i don't fake tan i'm probably the most pale skin tone on this chart and I would say that my leg hair is like probably it's definitely not blonde I'd say like a light brown slash dark blonde and it works fine for me to use this little device you just shave your legs before you start so my legs are freshly shaved once the device is flat to your skin and ready to go the light will come on so you know that you can zap away and you can use the stamp mode so just pressing the button as and when you want to for smaller areas or you can use the glide mode which I use on my legs where you just hold the button down move it slowly along and this mode is great for larger areas such as your legs moisturize once you've finished and you are done that's it for another week honestly the thought of experience in summer without having to shave my legs every other day it sounds dreamy but it's not a dream it's gonna be reality for me this year humble brag <laughs> and the team over at current body have very kindly given you guys a discount code this is already one of the most affordable ipl devices on the market but you can get an extra 10 percent off if you use the code hannah ss at checkout and the shipping is free current body know how to treat you please do keep me updated if you decide to pick one up i want to hear about your results i want to hear about your personal journey how you're getting on with it and if you have any questions about it hit me up in my instagram dms thank you to current body for sponsoring this video and for slowing down the ridiculous rate of regrowth on my leg hair <laughs> me my legs and my razor that works overtime truly appreciate it Good morning, we are back at the office today. Me, Sunny and the broken flower wall. 
Um, I've come up here this morning because I had a lot more orders last night for Tenor Tuesday. Obviously it's now Wednesday. Um, and I want to package them up and get them sent out this morning, don't we doodles? So I'm going to get that done quickly because I'm actually heading into London this afternoon. I'm really excited because I'm actually meeting my friend Alice who is the graphic designer for Sunnyside. So basically the process of creating the products such as this one. I mean this is dirty because this is the harness Sunny's been wearing for a few days now um, but basically I'll come up with the design idea sometimes I'll find the exact graphics I want to use and then I put together in a document all the color scheme the graphics the vibe and I send that document to Alice Alice then creates it into a seamless pattern to print the fabric she's so clever so so good at what she does she's the best in the business and I'm very lucky that she's a very good friend of mine has been for many years now and we work so well as a team I come up with the idea Idea, she fits the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle together absolute duo we are so yeah I'm going to meet Alice she's down in London she actually lives up north in Doncaster so I don't get to see her very often and I haven't seen her since before Covid so it's been a really long time and I'm really really looking forward to a catch-up today to discuss all things sunny side all things general life she's never even met Sunny I mean, Sunny's not coming into London with me today. <laughs> That's what she thinks of London. And I don't think you would like the Greek restaurant we're going to, Eva Doodles. Puppies can't have chicken kebabs. <laughs> Anyone who says dogs don't like to be smothered has never met Sunny because she loves nothing more than kisses. Oh, kisses and strokes and cuddles. Hey, I heard you want to leave this place where we grew up. This old town, just put it all behind Remember you and I Would always find somewhere to hide When we were kids So we could see and hear the water run The river's gonna cry when you're gone Right, I've just got home and I've got about 20 minutes before I need to leave to get the train to go to London to meet Alice, the graphic designer. She's also got a YouTube channel, by the way. She is back on YouTube. I'm so excited about it because her vlogs are my favourite. Quitting your job and going self-employed is fucking terrifying. This is insane. Is this the new way? This is going to change the game. So if you're into like creative stuff, in fact, even if you just like my videos, you would definitely like Alice's. She is genuinely hand on my heart one of my favourite YouTubers. So before I go and meet Alice in London, I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek of my next collection. Like I said, I've got all my collections planned for this year and the next collection is, drum roll please, the Safari collection. And I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you a few little, few little pickies. It's still in the early stages, so at the moment the samples are being produced to send to me. I like to check every sample in person to double check the colours and stuff and see how it's printed. Probably does add, I would say, about a month to the process, but in my opinion, so worth it, because if I bulk ordered and then they arrived and they weren't the right colour, I would be heartbroken. I'll show you some little sneak peeks of the designs. So first up we have, is a little sneaky peek, Glitter Zebra, this one is called. That's all I'm telling you. Then we have some little animal rainbows. So cute. Love the neutral vibes. And last but not least, because there are three designs in the Safari collection to start with. The jungle. And that's all you're getting for now. I've decided, while I'm on the train, I'm going to, one, create a link tree for my Instagram so that I can have all my links in one place because there's quite a lot of links with Sunnyside, my TikTok, my Sunnyside Instagram, my YouTube channel. And I am also going to schedule the Instagram posts for this week for Sunnyside. It's Wednesday right now. So I try and post on the Sunnyside Instagram every day. And I've definitely mentioned this before, but I like to work on a product dog, product dog, product dog basis. Just because one, I think it looks nice on your feed to spread out the dogs. And two, it's nice for people to see your products in use, but all also details of the products. I use this app called Plan. It's really good. You can see I've got like these haven't been posted yet and I haven't organised them. But from here are ones that I have already posted on Instagram. I love that you can like move them around. You can decide what's going where. If I wanted to put this one here or here or whatever. So I can see what the feed is going to look like before I actually do it. And then once you click on a photo. Like this is a product photo that I took on Monday when I was at the office. You can write the caption and then you can schedule it. I'll be out this evening. But you can choose the date and the time that you want it to post. And it will do it for you. So I never forget i'm gonna schedule them on the train 
from Wednesday to Sunday and then next Monday I will start the process again. Very quickly, in case anyone's interested, this hoodie is one that I got from Etsy. It's just basically a plain black hoodie. My jacket is from Zara. My bag is from the Couples. My flares are from Gilly Hicks and these trainers are from Nike. It's a nice day out today, but it is chilly. Don't let the sun fool you. I know, we literally were saying like we haven't, I can't even remember the year we last saw each other. Maybe like 2019? 2019 at least, yeah. But we've come to a little Greek restaurant, I'm hoping you can hear me. And our food's just arrived. It looks so good. It looks so good. Um, and this is actually a small business weekly vlog. So I was, I've been telling these guys that you are the graphics behind Sunnyside. Such as me, I was doing it on the train here. Yes, she was. <laughs> and I just showed you some sneak peeks in the next collection, but... The one after that, Alice finished today. It's and very good. Literally smashed it. It's so nice. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, we're gonna eat our food and continue our little catch up. Our dessert's just arrived. I've got baklava. I believe that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> Alice has got trilake. Trilake. Sponge cake with syrup. Sponge cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sponge cake, babe. It's cake. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> we have progress. And not of the good kind. <laughs> this flower wall, do you know what? I think I'm going to abandon it. I don't think I'm even going to attempt to put it back up now. Like, it's giving me the signs. It doesn't want to be on the wall any longer. <coughs> Sunny, do you think it's time for the flower wall to go? This morning, I am going to go through my faulty box. Do you know what? I feel so lucky that I've only got these two small boxes of faulty products and by faulty I don't even mean that they're unsafe. I just mean that like the design or the print is slightly wonky or something. They're just not, I just wouldn't sell them on my website. So they're not faulty as in broken, they're faulty as in aesthetically not perfect. So every now and again I like to do a little donation drop at my local dogs trust. I usually send some of Sunny's jumpers that she doesn't wear anymore, lots of her toys because this dog, where is she? There she is. She has far too many toys and other doggies need them more than you Sunny Bear. So I'm gonna head there this morning and I'm gonna put together a little box of some of my harnesses. I've been debating doing like a second sale because some people might want to buy these at just a discounted rate because they're not bad. They're just not perfect. What was wrong with this one? Like right now, I can't even spot what's wrong with that. One is quite creased and two, it's got a little mark on it. I don't know what that is. It's not something that can be washed off. So I'll take this one to Dog's Trust today. One's like this. I don't know how this happened because this is a one-off. This has never happened before. But the print on this one, is upside down. Honestly, it blows my mind how that's happened because how could that happen on literally just one harness? On this one, you can see that the print is slightly wonky, but again, absolutely nothing wrong with it. So I'm just gonna put together a few little harnesses like this. I'm also gonna take some of my adventure harnesses, which aren't in the faulty box. I just think at Dogs Trust, there's a lot of big dogs there, like a lot of Rottweilers, German Shepherds, Greyhounds. Um, so just to do my good deed of the month, I'm going to get some of those harnesses and put them in a box too. I'll take some leads as well, like what's wrong with this one? Literally just this part on the handle. See that? That's the only thing that's wrong with this lead. So still perfectly usable. I'm basically just a massive perfectionist with the stuff I actually will sell. And the stuff that I don't sell might as well go somewhere. These are my adventure harnesses. I'll quickly show you the style. Sunny's barking at me to take her out for a walk. But this is what these ones look like. Really good for bigger dogs. Really sturdy, they've got the handle on the back, they don't have to go over their head, they've got the lockable buckle as well. So I'm going to take a few of these because a lot of the breeds, like I said at Dogs Trust, would suit this style of harness. And they deserve cute harnesses too. Okay, we've got the boxes, one full of harnesses, jumpers, etc, etc. And this one is full of toys. We've just arrived at Dogs Trust in Basildon. Let's take them in. I wanna spend all that time now. as you saw we just did the drop and now we can see some of the doggies oh this one's looking at me hi i'm gonna leave the link to dogs trust in the description down below in the basildon one and you can come in and you can see what dogs are available to rehome not all of them are out but some of them are and these two have got friends look how cute they are hello doggies 
<laughs> this is Rocket. He's a lurcher. He's having a big snooze though, so I'm not going to disturb him. Bertie's found his forever home. Congratulations, Bertie. Hope you have a good time. This is Cara and Sally, 10 months old. <gasps> Hello, sweeties. Hi. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> Mind your sister. Hi. This is Hugo. He's a two year old sprolly and he's so sweet. Hello, Hugo. Hugo, hello. It says he could be nervous with new people, but it seems really comfortable. Uh, here he goes. Bye. If anyone has a dog and your dog has any spare toys or blankets or anything, come and donate them to your local dogs trust. Cause look, they have so many blankies and toys. This one is Charmer. He's a four year old greyhound. He's not really interested in me if I'm honest, but I wouldn't be either if I had all those blankets and toys out. Hello, can you smell my finger? Hello. He's only one. He's quite big for one, isn't he? He is, yeah, he's tall, he's got long legs. You've got long legs? Oh, look at you, hi. Hello, sweet boy, oh, thank you. How is this? Look at Ted with the waggy tail. Hi, Ted. Something tells me that Odie, the French bulldog, quite likes toys. Look how many he's got in there. Bentley's found his forever home. Hello, Bentley. You're so sweet. I like that they have these little smell holes so they can smell your finger. Can you smell my sunny? Belle keeps trying to come near me. Oh. Hello, Belle. I know, I wish I could give you a chin scratch. Oh, I do, sweet girl. Oh, thank you. Hello. I'm back from Dogs Trust. I'm up at the office again. I've had my lunch. I've packed the orders for the day. So I'm all done and dusted. I'm just going to do some like social media stuff this afternoon. But honestly, going to Dogs Trust earlier, it was so bittersweet. I brought my mum with me and she actually cried. Because it is really sad to see all the dogs there and to think that they don't have a home to go to at the end of the day. They don't have a sofa to snuggle on. They don't have a family. But what I will say is that the Basildon Dogs Trust Centre is incredible. It is so open airy clean the dogs are clearly so well looked after they've got blankets toys literally whatever they want so it's a lovely place to go to just sad seeing the dogs really but they'll all have a forever home one day and in the meantime they've got some sunny side harneys and some toys to keep them company but anyway very exciting news my next collection is finalized and not the safari one this is the one after that and also the one after that so the next three collections now the designs are done done and dusted ready to go send me the samples asap please <laughs> yesterday i was sent some photos of the safari collection they will also be sent to me so i can see the colors in person but basically this is what a sample of a harness and a lead looks like this is one of the sneaky peeks that i gave you earlier in this vlog but yeah as you can see this is like the shape of the harness the edge will be stitched on before it's sent to me as well and then a sample of the this is lead and collar and the strap of the harness that will also be sent to me so that's what it looks like first of all and then that will arrive i'll double check it and once i say yep all good to go then production begins so give it a couple of weeks and these harneys will be brought to life but while those ones are being made i need to send the plans for the next ones okay so i just went downstairs to grab a whole bunch of products to explain this to you better but basically i'm going to screen record my screen and move myself into this bottom little corner and in a nutshell this is one of my old designs and this is what i sent to my supplier to make it really easy for the colors of the design to come together so you can see the design here is woodland wonders and then the neoprene and the mesh are both dark green and if i make myself bigger for a second there we go the neoprene is the color that's inside the collars and it's also the inside of the lead handle the mesh is the color inside the harness so you can see here this is like a breathable mesh again dark green and if you're wondering where these colors have come from my supplier basically sent me their mesh and their neoprene colors and I choose which one I want for each design. The edge that I've got on this one is a custom colour, so it's this sage green. That is the edging around the harness. Some people prefer to have the pattern around the harness, but I personally think the design stands out more if it's got a solid colour around the edge and the design in the middle. I think it looks super classy, it looks lovely on, and it picks up the sage green from this design. I think it looks lovely. So my next job of the day is to make this colours document for 
six of my new upcoming designs. Ooh. I just found that making these documents eliminates all process of mistakes between me and the supplier. And the less mistakes that are made, the shorter the lead time and the less costly it is. It is Instagram photo time, Instagram photo time, Instagram photo time, my least favorite time of the week. I don't know why I hate taking product photos because it's actually not even that bad. I think it's just because I'm a perfectionist and I like the product to be in exactly the right place. So it takes me a long time. You know she's the real deal when she brings a big camera up to the office. Oh, get your big camera out. <laughs> this is the camera that I use for my product photos. It's the Canon EOS 90D. I also use this if I'm filming like a sit down YouTube video. And my lens, oh, this is actually the lens that came with it. Sometimes I use the Sigma lens. Not today, apparently. If you see this on Instagram, don't tell anyone it wasn't a real order. I'm just setting it up for the gram. Got to give the followers the customer experience, you know? This is what your box will arrive looking like. That's the vibe. We're going navy. We're going battle of the leads. Rope lead or adjustable. Got to get the followers commenting. Which team are they on? Beautiful. Now we move it over to the light box. Switch that on and show it in all its glory. Got there in the end. Let me introduce you to the sunny side prop box. Sunny side prop box. Can I get a hell yeah? Thanks very much if you played along. So in here I have all the Instagram photo props that I could ever need so far actually because I actually do need quite a lot more than this. We've got Christmas, we've got pumpkins. This is actually really handy to use for product photos. It was from I think the range. What actually is it? It's just called a wooden slice. Um, I think people put it like on their tables and that but to have it in the background or the corner of a photo looks lovely. We've got some flowers, just little like bits and bobs to fill up a photo you know. Right, since the last clip, I popped home, ate dinner, and I'm now back at the office. It's two minutes to eight, and I'm going to do an Instagram live this evening. I definitely want to make these a more regular feature. Sorry, I'm not in heaven, it's just this light. <laughs> I definitely want to make these a more regular feature on the Sunnyside Instagram page, just because I think it's a good way for my customers to get to know me and get to know the brand. I'm going to answer everyone's questions about the new collections, etc, etc. I've got a little drink because my throat always gets so dry when I do a live chat. I think I'm just talking and talking, you know? And if you watch this Instagram live, comment down below. I was part of the crew. This is my setup. Oh, that better not be a ghost because I'm here by myself. This is my setup right now. I've got my laptop here in case I need it. Balancing my little iPhone stand on a box. Hello, Kirsty. I see you. Hello, Tiffany. Oh, I'm so glad people are joining. Hello, Ted. How you doing? Have you had lots of treats today? I hope you have. Do I look super pale? Does my light need to be on this? Oh, no, I look dead. Is that too yellow? How do I see how many people are watching? 85 people? Babes, ain't you got anything better to do on a Friday evening? What are you doing here? Anyway, I'm actually currently vlogging this. Do you wanna see, guys? Everyone say hi to the vlog. If you don't know, by the way, it might be really random, but I'm also a YouTuber and I'm vlogging my small business week. So, here it is. Say hi, everyone. Everyone say hello, vlog. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's half past nine at night now and I've just finished this Instagram live. I'm still at the office. I set myself a challenge to drink all of this by the end of the live and listen. I did it. I'm so proud of that. Anyway, I think I'm going to end this video here because it's Friday night. Tomorrow is Saturday, so I'll spend the entire day editing this vlog. So nothing else small business related for this week, really. I feel like I didn't really delve into like the financial side of the business. So if you want me to do one that's a bit more like accountants, finance in the business, the nitty gritty bits rather than the fun, cute, seeing dogs going out for lunch with the graphic designer bits. Let me know and I can do that as well. I can do a more like hard hitting, <laughs> grrr, business, business. I could do that kind of vlog if you want it. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you've got a dog and you haven't looked at the Sunnyside website until this point, what are you doing? Why hesitate him? Your dog wants a harness, it told me. Do subscribe to see my future videos. But anyway, my loves, thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely week next week and I'll see you next Sunday with another little video. Bye guys, love ya.